This past year has really taken some twists and turns for gender equality in entertainment, politics, and media. And with those twists and turns, eSports sits on the fringe of entertainment and media with a whole new breakdown on male versus female. Now, we're not reporting that every game starring a male character is gender biased. We're just wanting to point out and clear up that games that promote female characters help further define an equal playing field for pros and competitors, casual players and spectators. At E3 last June, the Feminist Frequency came out with a phenomenal report stating this year, more featured games than ever before allowed players to choose from a pre-existing assortment of characters of varied genders to create their own. Over 50% of the games fell into the category of games that you don't play exclusively or specifically as a male or female. Getting options is really great, but still over three times as many games featured centered on men. A shout out to Anthem for letting the player determine the gender of your character and making sure the demo centered on a female character and player. We still have a long way to go, but games that give us defined female heroes continue to be crucial to encourage more girls and women to play the games in our universe that help further a strong, ever-growing presence in the gamer world. Which reminds us, go to feministfrequency.com and donate to help the normalization of sexual assault and harassment, racism and bigotry, and advocate for more inclusive media. They need your help.